Okay, Facebook friends, here we are at the Straits of Taiwan, and behind me right now is China. Uh, I don't know how far, I've got to look it up on Google, but uh, yeah, China is behind me, but I want to I want to just kind of do a pivot here. Uh, as you can tell, it is really, really windy, but as I move around, you're going to see something very interesting. Uh, this is the, the uh, Xihu Wetlands, and in this, let me get behind, here we go, check this out. Tilt this up, there we go. There is an incredible So there, there is a lot of these uh, out here, and uh, most of them, there's a few that are not, but uh, kind of interesting. And uh, there's a rail track down there. Uh, what's also interesting here is that there is a high-speed rail that's uh, just over 300 kilometers long that opened up last year that goes from the, uh, uh, the northwest side of the island all the way down to the south and uh, took about uh, five years to build it and it's amazing the transportation that is actually being built in this country um, you know it, it, it really puts the United States to shame to be honest with you uh, I'm kind of embarrassed uh, looking at the high-speed rail it goes over 300 kilometers per hour so normally a probably four and a half five hour drive uh, you hop on the train in Taipei, and then you can be in the far south in just a touch over an hour. Um, you know, we need that in the U.S. We really do. But, you know, environmentalists and, you know, the NIMBYs just will not allow it. So, uh, I'm going to try and get out of the wind here. But, man, this is the, the scenery, the panorama, the, uh, the wetlands is amazing. Okay. 